It's your boy Rich Long. Look, consciousness was a trap in a lot of ways. I'm gonna tell you how. What it did, it took away our power source, which was the church. And um, the church could have been any building, really, because uh, look, I'm fucking shit up. I'm trying to keep the sun out. We're family. <laughs> And we just needed a reason to be able to get together. So, um, the church being a banner that we could all come together under and um, a meeting house, we had a base and a power structure by funneling our money through that church to one another because you know, back in the day, we had a lot more people who were contractors. We had a lot more people who were electricians, carpenters, masons, uh, people who cooked and cleaned. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, we think we're too good to do anything except rap, which is a low level of thinking because um, rappers nowadays are trashy. And uh, they have made us get to a sunken low place by constantly uh, perverting the minds of the people. Now, that's what the people want because the majority of the people don't know good because they haven't been shown or taught good. So they don't know what's good for them. So they intake bad things and um, essentially love the devil who gives them nothing. So it's up to those of us who are conscious and aware, who, when we became conscious, um, we had a veil lifted from our eyes, and we could see and differentiate um, what was going on in front of us, differentiate between the real and the fake shit that we were seeing, the programming and what was real, the matrix and what was real. A lot of people have trouble with that. Um, because they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. They're under a spell. You know? And um, becoming conscious didn't just... It didn't give us the right to be so arrogant and egotistical towards God. That was the issue. Um, it wasn't us getting the knowledge. It was the way we acted. And this is why God says we are stiff-necked people. Because um, we never learn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we never learn. Uh, obviously, we've agreed time and time again that there is a God. Or even those who say that there's not a God. If they go into science, science has proved that there is a God. And something that they call the God particle which is, what is it, the Higgs, Bowen? I got to go look it up. I don't know right now. I'm, I'm going to just let it flow in the spirit. But look, there is a God, and he's making himself known. And people who don't have the eyes to hear, the eyes to see and the ears to hear that he's sending signs, they, they're lost. But those who know, oh, you know what I'm saying? And what you owe is to keep it real with the people. Don't blaspheme God. Consciousness has gotten people to take all the power away from God and give it to man. We know there's something outside of ourselves that is greater than us. We are not the only life force in this universe. So obviously, we are not the creator of life on a God level. If you can understand. Yeah. If we could just... come back to God and humble ourselves a lot of this would have been over 
what it is is we got lost somewhere along the way chasing money. We got lost somewhere along the way chasing pussy. <laughs> we got lost somewhere along the way trying to one-up each other. It's crazy. You know? I'll be back ASAP like Rocky.